look at Math 31, let's take a look at our next equation. And I'm going to give you this u sub. So I'm starting you with u equaling x minus 3 to the 1 fourth. So let's work some stuff over here. So when you have u equaling x minus 3 to the 1 fourth, much like example 6, I want you to square both sides. I want you to see what's happening. So if I square both sides, I'm going to get u squared equaling x minus 3 to the 1 fourth, and that's going to be squared. And what do we do when we have a power raised to a power? Well, we multiply those exponents. 1 fourth times 2 is 2 fourths, which is 1 half, so I get u squared is equal to x minus 3 to the 1 half. So I want you to keep my starting point and my ending point in mind, all right? So I gave you this u sub, and then you say, all right, I'm going to square both sides, see what I wind up with. I'll keep my original substitution in mind, and I'll keep the squared version of that substitution in mind. And then let's go make our u sub. So here we go. Instead of x minus 3 to the 1 half, I'm allowed to write u squared. Instead of negative 6 times x minus 3 to the 1 fourth, I can substitute this x minus 3 to the 1 fourth out with u. And then again, 8, it has no x's in it. There's no variable in it. It's constant, so I'm just going to write plus 8. And while this looked really, really ugly, this is not too bad. We could actually factor this one, or you could complete a square, or you could use the quadratic formula, right? It's your call. But I do have a quadratic equation at this point, and I know how to solve quadratic equations. All right, so now the, the, the trick, the catch, in both examples six and seven where I set you up with the u substitution. All right, and how do you figure out what the u substitution needs to be? Because it does make a difference. If you pick the wrong u, then this substitution doesn't work out the way you want it to. And, and I'll give you a for instance. Let me scooch this back down, or maybe back up is the better term. All right, we saw in example 6a, I didn't pick the right u substitution. If I just picked x plus 1, I did not get a nice quadratic equation. So, so what's the catch? How do you make this work? Well, here's the catch. Whatever the linear term, or what will eventually be the linear term, but whatever the middle term is, right? You see x plus 1 to the 1 third? That was my u substitution, OK? And then if we come back down to example 7, right? x minus 3 to the 1 fourth was that middle term. That was my u substitution. So you want to pick whatever this middle term is, and that will become your u substitution. And then this, this, this process only works if this exponent happens to be twice this exponent. And that won't always be the case. And if it's not, then you can't use this method. But if it is, you can use this method. So we're going to flip over to example 8, and we're going to practice solving this the entire way out. And then we're going to just try it with an extra example just to get a little bit more practice. All right, I'll see you in a few. Bye.